Ukraine and Switzerland have agreed to combat illegal migration and simplify their visa regime. This is according to the agreement signed by Swiss Federal Consular Didier Burkhalter during his visit to Ukraine. Ukraine Ukrainian Foreign Minister Pavlo Klimkin says that starting June 11th, Ukrainians will be able to visit Switzerland without the need of a passport visa. June 11th is the first day of Ukraine's visa-free regime with the EU. Starting then, Ukrainians may travel to EU countries in the Schengen zone without needing a visa. The Swiss federal consular also visited Mariupol during his trip. Switzerland sent more than one and a half tons of water treatment supplies and medications. The humanitarian aid package was worth more than $600,000. It is very important that Switzerland supports us in our struggle for the independence and the territorial integrity of Ukraine. It adheres to this position clearly and consistently in all bilateral negotiations and international formats. Switzerland has also introduced very clear and consistent sanctions. This is a very important political signal that is supported by specific actions. Between 2015 and 2017, Switzerland provided assistance to Ukraine in the amount of over 120 million Swiss francs. It is roughly the same amount in American dollars. We would like to see the result of that assistance, the establishment of peace and a more active decentralization process. Health and education of people is also very important. I can note positive progress in the country's work, and I support Ukraine on its way.